Hello guys and welcome back to my Marvel vs Capcom Infinite Beginner's Guide. In the last episode we touched briefly on how the game plays overall and went over a number of basic actions you can perform in the game. This time we're going to delve into how the Infinity Stones affect battle and what they're capable of. So in the previous episode I touched briefly on the Infinity Stones, which are a vital core mechanic to MVCI. There are 6 in total and depending on your choice can drastically change the flow of battle in your favour. Each stone offers two uses, the Infinity Surge and the Infinity Storm. The Infinity Surge is always available to the player at the touch of the Surge button and is set to LB or L1 as a default. Every stone offers a different surge and this can be a game changer depending on your choice. The Infinity Storm is an extremely powerful tool which is essentially this game's comeback mechanic, the same way we had X Factor in Marvel 3. You activate by pressing both Active Switch and Surge, which is default set to LB and RB or L1 and R1. However, this only becomes available to the player once the Infinity Gauge becomes at least 50% full. There are a couple of ways you can build up this meter. As it is a comeback mechanic, it does build up as you take damage. You'll gain a 50% boost once you lose a character, so be aware of that. You can also build the meter by effectively using your Infinity Surge throughout the course of battle. The Infinity Storm might vary from stone to stone, but there are a few universal applications as well. You can activate the storm whilst in block stun and it is completely invincible on startup. Knowing when you can use this will be critical in high level play. One other thing that is pretty crazy is that you can also gain access to a completely cost free level 3 hyper combo. Yes, you did hear that correctly. To pull this off you will simply press the infinity storm buttons again while it is already active and your character will pull off their level 3. This does have a drawback however as it ends the storm there and then once you've used it and will not give you any of the benefits that might come with the storm. So now let's go over the stones individually and see what they bring to the table in Marvel Infinite. The Power Stone Surge is an attack that covers a nice radius around your character. It will always cause a wall bounce and is useful if your character doesn't have that luxury in their normal moveset and will allow them to extend combos. The Storm is a temporary power up state in which your character will deal a lot more damage than usual. It will also increase the effectiveness of your combo extensions, such as making ground bounces a lot higher. The opponent is also unable to push block as effectively whilst the storm is active. This is useful for characters who don't deal a great amount of damage, or speeds up the process of taking out an opponent if you're playing as a heavy hitter. The Time Stone Surge is a teleport that will propel your character forward a set distance. This can be great for escaping situations if you lack movement options or resetting back to neutral if you're playing a keepaway character. The Storm will allow your character to create custom combos by chaining together their normal and special moves. Be aware that the combos will scale heavily after a while and they may drop out after a certain amount of hits. It also allows the cooldown on active switch to be a lot shorter. The Space Stone Surge is a vacuum style move similar to Magneto's Attract in Marvel 3. It will bring the opponent towards you and also grant you super armor, which is nice in case they happen to be pressing a light button as you use it. The Storm will trap your opponent inside of a cube which they cannot escape. They are unable to tag out and will simply have to try their best to defend until the Storm wears off. The trapped player is still able to fire projectiles from inside the box, so be careful. This stone may be useful for characters who use command grabs or those who struggle to get close to the opponent. If you KO the first character while the storm is active, the next character will come in still trapped. The Reality Stone Surge fires a projectile towards the opponent. This will home in and can make it very frustrating for them to find an approach if used often. Be aware that the projectile does have extremely low durability and it may not be a good choice against characters who are able to flood the screen with fireballs. The storm will allow the player to perform different spells depending on which button they press. Light Punch will rapidly fire small projectiles towards the opponent. 
Light Kick will make the floor below the opponent turn to ice and freeze them in place for a combo if it connects. Hard Punch will shoot streams of fire across the screen and can be a nice combo starter or extender. And Hard Kick will rain bolts of thunder down on top of the opponent. Overall, the Reality Storm can be an extremely powerful way to potentially control the entire screen. It's versatile in that you can improve your keep away or magnify your pressure. The Mind Stone Surge acts as a command grab that will stun the opponent and give you a full combo if it hits. The Airborne Surge is faster than the Grounded one, um, and this may seem strong, but be aware that the combo will be heavily scaled after the Surge connects. The Storm will constantly increase the Hyper Combo Gauge while it's active. This can be extremely powerful if you're playing as characters who have Hyper Combos that put them into powered up states. It will also enable you to spam hypers and tag safely while pressuring your opponent. The Soul Stone Surge is a leech type move that has massive range and will sap some health from the opponent and add it to your currently active character's health bar. This is especially useful if you pin your opponent down with a move that hits multiple times such as a hyper combo, then tag and then spam surge. Just be aware to take combo scaling into consideration here. The Soul Stone Storm is probably the most crazy in the game. It will bring back a defeated character with about 20% health and gives you control of both of them at the same time. This opens up for some absolutely ridiculous combo possibilities and the sky's pretty much the limit here. Be aware that if you use the storm twice in one match, the second time you revive a character, they will come back with almost no life. If a character is defeated during the storm, it will end immediately also. Hopefully this gives you a bit of insight as to which Infinity Stone you might want to use and of course this may vary from team to team or character to character and that's completely fine. Generally you either want to be highlighting your character's strengths or covering their weaknesses. If you're unsure as to which stone to use, um, I would say for beginners to go for the Power Stone or the uh, Reality Stone. These feel like the most beginner friendly stones and I feel like they're the easiest to understand and get to grips with. That's going to be all from me today guys, please stay tuned next time where I'll be going over the combo system in depth. I wanted to do them during this episode as well, but I feel like it would make more sense just to do the stones now um, and then cover that in a later episode, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, hope you learned something new today. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time guys. Take everything by my hand.